like this. These things you see, I will tell about these things. Artists are telling different stories and so I'm not going to write from paper, so I'm going to write, to read from my heart and to talk from my heart. So of course you are talking from your heart too. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't do it in diary or push past I try to I try to write something on paper, but it look like like this. I cannot even do it. So, <laughs> so uh, my name is Shahra Karimi. I am uh, uh, from Afghanistan. Uh, uh, I am educated woman from Afghanistan, hey. and. Uh, I am a well-educated woman from Afghanistan, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, I am uh, an urban woman from Afghanistan, and uh, I am a new generation from Afghanistan. So, but it doesn't mean that it is all, it, it looks beautiful, but it is very difficult to be. Educated from woman, educated woman from Afghanistan in a very patriarchal country. Urban woman from Afghanistan in a, in a country that they think they, they behavior and their way of thinking about you it is about rural as a rural woman. And it is not very easy to be independent and you think independently, and you talk independently and loudly, and you are from Afghanistan. So, you see this film, How I Marry Moisha, and my, my uh, people from Afghanistan, that some of them, they are here as a guest, they heard about this film. I had a premiere in, 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 in Venice. It is for any filmmaker, it is a dream to have a premiere at Venice Film Festival because it is a film festival. But at the day that, uh, uh, in the day that I had this premiere, uh, Mr. Trump had a meeting, wanted to have a meeting with Taliban and our president to talk about peace deal. I had a very, very strange feeling. Very strange feeling because, okay, this is my success, but I didn't know if I go back to Afghanistan, I could continue this success. Because we all know about Taliban. We all know about the dark time of Taliban. Of course, I know. Taliban became cliche for Afghanistan. But this cliche is so real, so painful. And this cliche may become a reality of Afghanistan. When my film finished, it was 1,500 1, people wow. there in a hall. And I started to cry. I cried. Like, I don't know, because it wasn't just because my film was, had a successful premiere. Because I was afraid of this peace talk. Of course, we are not against peace. Of course, we are tired of war. Of course, we want to live in peaceful environment, in peaceful country. But the cost, what is the cost? My mother and many other mothers in Afghanistan belong to generation of illiterate women, uneducated women. They were so familiar with this thing inside the kitchen than this thing. They love their, what is that in English? <laughs> These things, yeah. <laughs> they love it. They take care. For them is very important. They go to buy a new one. They don't care about this. But my generation, 
We care about this because we can eat, to think, to use this. <laughs> so this is, this is, this is how we came these past 18 years, my generation. We became young women, educated. We started to learn languages, many different. Not my English, bad English, but your English is great. <laughs> we start to travel to the, around the world. We start to speak in front of public. We start to, to belong to the world and to find our place and position and identity inside the world. And it wasn't easy this last 18 years because we sacrificed a lot. If this peace deal happened, which I don't know if it is a game, but it will happen, then the women of Afghanistan who, who are the main winner of this war, these past wars, will be the main loser of, 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 of this peace deal. Believe me, it will happen. If they, if they don't decide in proper way, if they don't deal in proper way, if they just close their eyes, and just to sign and to release and to, I don't know whatever they are doing because of this peace deal, then whatever we did, you people did, because you contribute for the reconstruction of Afghanistan from each angle, each side. We will be loser. When you, at the end of the day, when we are loser, why we just spend millions, uh, money, billions of uh, uh, dollars inside of Afghanistan when we won't just give up. My generation And the bright future for my generation, it is not illusion anymore. It is a dream, real dream, that we are fighting to fulfill it. And we don't want to give up. I want to tell stories. I made this film because everybody outside of Afghanistan thought that we cannot make a film inside Afghanistan. I say, why? I ask, why? They said it is impossible, but we made it possible. We want to tell stories. We artists, we filmmakers. I'm not the only female, female filmmakers in Afghanistan. There are a few others, very strong women, journalists, writers, photographers. We want to tell stories. We want to become a voice of many, many voiceless women inside Afghanistan. We want to become a good and well, not good, all mothers are good. We want to become a educated mothers to have and raise our children in a very good environment. We don't want to belong to to our generation of mo our mothers who were suffering, tolerating, they were silent, they just, they laughed, they laughed during the war, but they were main victims of the war. For that, thank you for your campaign. For, for what you are doing, because the world and the international society, they just decided to be silent about Afghanistan and about this peace deal. 
they just decided to not talk about it. Thank you for this event that you want to talk about it loudly. If international governments, societies, NGOs, and every everybody, if they just want to forget us, we will be voiceless again. And Afghanistan returned to, to those years of 1996. And these young people, you, if you don't know that what was 1996, Google is easy. <laughs> OK, search it. And you see ruin of Kabul, at least, all Afghanistan. We tried our best with your help. to rebuild that ruined cities, city, those ruined cities. So I'm not going to talk a lot. <laughs> if politicians are silent, if they want to, to make these deals, but you people shouldn't be silent. The mothers of the world, they shouldn't be silent. Because whatever you want for your child, peaceful life, beautiful life, a woman from Afghanistan, a, a mother from Afghanistan also want, wants for her child. Please talk about this peace deal loudly. Question it. Please ask questions that are very important because questions are very important. People, they just forget to, to ask important questions. They just searching for, for answers, answers, answers. You are, I, how many people here? 200? Yeah. If you join this campaign, which, which is, I think is, MM, mother, MMM? Make mothers matter. Make, make mothers matter. <laughs> if you join this campaign, it means 200 people, they are against this fact that who is going to lose and who is going to be vi new victims are mothers of Afghanistan. Thank you for coming. And I'm not going to talk a lot because I couldn't understand what I did. So, again, return to these things. A lot of young women in Afghanistan, they started to write their stories, their views what they are angry with, what they are not angry with. But it was because of our mother who used this just to, to keep us safe. Again, as I said at, at the beginning, we just want it be you, it be, it be, it be a tool for eating. We don't want to, it, it becomes a part of important part of our life in the kitchen. Because being in the kitchen, for many years our mother were there. It didn't change anything, anything, anything. We want to come out of our kitchens. Chicken or kitchen? <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> this is the problem, you know, kitchen and chicken. Both are bad for the kitchen, we eat this inside, for the chicken, we eat this inside kitchen. <laughs> we want just to have a possibility and freedom. For God's sake, freedom. To tell our stories. Please join this campaign. If you join this campaign, it means you support Afghan women and Afghan mothers. Thank you very much.